Listen, we have a wild one today. These fuckers on have come armed and yeah! ready. Jack and bro! Remember your spikes! Oh, Hammerhead is looking like a fish out of water. <laughs> Wait! Found an opening! Hammerhead got a head of steam! The come from behind wins! The crowd is going crazy! What a way to start our night of brawling action! Okay, Dan. Sounds like it's brawling time. That's right. So we gotta stay focused. Ignore the crowds, and the lights, and the food. Whoa. Mmm. So good. <laughs> I smell meat on a stick. Are those corn dogs? You think they've got that good mustard? I thought you said stay focused. Oh, right, sorry. What was I talking about? Mostly just corn dogs. Yep, ignore the corn dogs and the crowds. No, you're I can't believe it. We found hmm? him, the Dragonoid. Um, um uh... it's me, TFD, streaming all the brawls, all the time, and all up in your face. I'm here with the Bakugan Dragonoid, also known as Drago the Destroyer, AKA and of course, Punching Dragonoid! Who made that last one up? Oh, right. That was me. Now, Drago, how are you feeling about this big fight? Hmm? Isn't it true the Bakugan you're about to face is Nilius, your ancient rival? I don't know if I'd call him an ancient rival. We all would love to know about your rise to the top. Tell us absolutely <laughs> everything! Pretty, pretty, please! <laughs> okay. I'll take it from here. <laughs> Drago is a fighter, not a talker. But that's why I'm here. I'm Dan Cuso, Dragonoid's teammate and hype man. Now, if you really want to know about Drago, I've got a story for you. A story which starts with me. About a year ago, I was your average kid. Sparkle in my eye, muscular, but didn't show it off. And smart. Homework was a battle I always won. Take that, homework. Dan, study time, not game time. Right, just hitting the books. My mom was super proud of me, too. I guess I was like, the best son ever? <laughs> Don't forget you have soccer practice after school. Right, so about that. I, uh, kind of quit soccer. No, please, not this again. Soccer's not for me, Mom. I don't like that you can't use your hands. Feels restricting. Really, Dan? It's always something with you. Hockey's huh? too cold, swimming's <sighs> too wet, chest hurts huh. your brain. Hey, that brain pain is for real. Honey, you need to find something you're passionate about. Find focus in your life. I'm focused on family. Hey, love you, Mom. See you later. You're too charming for your own good. Love you, too. And my friends? Well, they always have my back. <clears throat> your mom is kind of right, Dan. Huh. Are we talking about Dan and how unfocused his life has been lately? Ugh, too, too loud. loud. Sorry, I'm yelling, aren't I? Guys, I got my life under control. Really? Last week you missed your science test. I explained that already, Mia. I just forgot what day it was, that's all. <laughs> you thought it was Saturday. So I'm the only one who mixes up Tuesdays with Saturdays. Griffin, I don't like how you never forget anything. I know, right? It's my crazy photographic memory. My brain's like, say cheese to everything. Look, mm -hmm. I'm figuring things out. My future's gonna find me. Mm. Oh, wow! Stop. What is that? And then, my future arrived. Fire in the sky, burning through the atmosphere at a thousand miles an hour. Dan! Holy. Wow, that's cool. What is that? Huh? Dan! Uh -oh. Don't touch it! Could be space parasites! If they get inside your brain, they'll take over! Is that from a science book or a comic book? Uh, little of both. It's moving, guys. What? Whoa! Oh, this is so cool! Whoa! Huh. That's a big parasite. Hello, my name is Dan. Are you a robot? Oh, good. You speak human. <laughs> no, I'm not a robot. I'm from Earth. Earth? What super cluster is Earth in? Super cluster? Is that like a space thing? 
Sounds like a cereal. Ooh, with little planet marshmallows. He seemed like a cool guy. I knew right away that we'd get along. So, that was the moment Drago and I met. Huh? And the moment we learned that these strange beings didn't really get along with each other. After that, the military showed up to stop the fighting. Then, the scientists showed up. And a few days later, the mayor explained everything. He was like, these highly intelligent creatures are known as Bakugan, and they lived in a galaxy called Vestroya. Their planets were in the middle of a big war with each other when some intergalactic science stuff happened, and boom! A bunch of wormholes popped open, and Bakugan got sacked to Earth. Okay, I wasn't paying super close attention to that guy, but the point is, Bakugan were stuck here. But that's okay, because they became our friends. After that, I showed Drago the important things about Earth. Like pizza! And punching things! My bunk bed was never the same. Bakugan were so cool, and they immediately bonded with the kids of Earth. Like Bakugan, the kids were figuring out the world as well, so naturally we came together. Mia and Ventry were as close as Drago and me. Oh, and another thing. They loved to brawl! Every night, we would face off. Shoot the right, Drago! Reverse body drop! Ventry, be patient. Let him wear himself out. The only way he wears himself out is by winning! <laughs> he can't win if he can't catch her. Slowpoke! Uh, what did you say? Okay, come on, break it up. Brawling meant a lot to Bakugan. It kept them mentally and physically strong, and it helped them to evolve as a species. Go, Drago! Even more importantly, it was a tradition for them. So brawling was like having a small piece of their home here on Earth. We battled every day, but there was only one Bakugan that could compete with Drago, Milius. Milius was so strong, and he brawled like he had a chip on his shoulder. Before long, Bakugan brawling became huge arena events, and Drago and I became superstars. And tonight, Drago finally fights Milius! Um, okay, thanks. That was longer than I expected. Oh, it's, it's my channel! Brawl Nation, we got another fight! Let's do this, Drago! It's go time! Team Dragonoid versus Team I've been Milius. waiting for this moment. The moment I crushed you. Oh, uh, why does Milius hate you so much? Because we have history. Huh? You know the war between Bakugan planets? Milius is the one who started it. He is? And he didn't like that I tried to stop him. Prepare to lose, Dragonoid! The bell has wrong! It's Brawl O'Clock! Open wide! Oh, swing and miss! Drago's down! They don't call him Punching Bagonoid for nothing! Nice job letting him hit you! You're wearing him out! Uh, I'm not trying to wear him out! Nah. Uh -oh. Uh -oh. Uh -oh. Uh -oh. oh, the destroyer is uh -oh. getting destroyed. It's time to end this. Oh, face first into a fist. Oh, oh no! Now, Milius is wobbly. Uh -oh. He's dead. You get it! We won! Mm. Nice job! Oh, uh, yeah! You guys are awesome! Listen, I love you! Oh. <laughs> <laughs> it's not over yet! <laughs> huh, what? No! Yes, no!
you're 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 huge! What happened to you? Uh, huh? Oh, yeah! <laughs> yeah! All right! What's going on? This month has brought big changes to the brawling world in the form of, well, Big Bakugan. 13-year-old Dan Kuzo and Bakugan Dragonoid shocked the brawling world when they became the first kid and Bakugan to pair together. And Bakugan fans seem to love it. Drago! Dragonoid! <laughs> it's me, Tia D. How did you do that? How'd you grow? Not sure. You're not sure? Wait, can all Bakugan become giants? Well, there are some legends in Vestroya. But we always thought it was a myth. Well, think again, because this sucker's for real. Huh? Dan, what's he doing? Oh, just being more annoying than yeah. usual. Oh, yeah, Dan and Drago are the bomb! Woo! I guess everyone's being more annoying. Dan and Drago may have been the first to pair, but they definitely weren't the last. Almost overnight, Bakugan everywhere began growing into giants. But this can only happen when a Bakugan pairs with a kid, also known as a brawler. Together, brawler and Bakugan create a deep, mystical connection. Milius! And the results are a pretty big deal. Literally. Nothing will stop us now. are going to kill me. And this pairing changed the face of Bakugan Brawls forever. <laughs> Card technology formed huge battle arenas. Now, Bakugan and Brawlers battle alongside each other. Huh? Ah! Yes! Yes! Bakugan, Bakugan Brawl! Brawl! And if that's not enough, there are also BAM zones. Bakugan ability modification zones are activated by a Brawler to increase their Bakugan speed. Recover health and <laughs> strength. A strength bam is used to increase a Bakugan's might. Two on two battles. Giant Bakugan. Ability upgrades. Brawling as we know it will never be the same. How many more times you gonna watch that? Oh, I don't know, thousands and thousands probably. I like when Drago punched Nelius, and also all the parts with me. Hey, guys. Oh, no. Is Dan watching that news report about him again? Yes, and I think it's going to his head. Hey! Whose side are you on? I'm always on your side. That's why I criticize you so much. You know, for the first time in my life, I'm really good at something. I'm focused, my mom is proud of me, and I'm not fluttering around aimlessly anymore. Fine. Lay around and watch that news report of yourself for the bazillionth time if you want. Or you could prove how good you are by brawling me. Okay. You want proof? Sure. I'll take you on. Hey, Flutter Boy. Ready to roll? Oh, you're about to see how fluttery I can be. Hey, hmm? what do you two think you're doing? Chip? What do you want? Can't you see we're busy here? Well, I'm busy too! Daddy! I mean, the mayor put me in charge of keeping an eye on all the Bakugan. I'm basically the police. More like the fun police. Is it your sworn duty to constantly bug everyone? Or is that just a hobby? My job's not a joke! These huge aliens fighting all the time is super dangerous! Thanks to your pairing, you have everyone's attention. So I'll be watching you, Dan Kuzo. And watching all your terrifying Bakugan friends! Like a hawk! Got 
suddenly it gets hawks. Uh, no, we've said this a thousand times. Bakugan are harmless. I mean, look at them. Drago, do that face I was teaching you. This Aww. See? Who could be worried about an adorable face like that? They would never harm anyone. Huh? Be paired with brawlers. Yeah. That's gotta be them. You have to calm down. Octagon, please stop it. Please. <laughs> what happened we here? We were brawling in the park, and then suddenly, some kind of weird energy took a hold of Octagon. Then this happened? Something is wrong. We gotta take action. You're right. <laughs> Ventry, ready to fly? Let's go. Doing. Looks like they got their own problems. Oh man, that tarantula is strong. mention any food. You know that distracts me. Drago, lure that tarantula toward the octopus. Oh, okay. Mia, we're coming your way. Whatever you're planning, you better hurry. Ventry can't get a shot in. Drago, now! Burning bread! What was that just now? My mouth was like a flamethrower. I just said whatever <laughs> popped into my head, but it turned out to be the coolest thing uh, guys, huh? maybe save the dancing for later. He's coming! Drago, you ready to rampage this rampage? Uh. Okay, he's following us. Now what? Hmm. Now watch out! was a close one. Huh? Hmm? Like we said, one minute we were brawling, and then the next they just went crazy.
Or what did they say? Not much, but we are convinced that the pairing with the kids flipped a switch and turned those Bakugan into dangerous, mindless monsters. There is injury, there is destruction, and there is damage everywhere. Authorities are trying to piece together what happened here, but there are more questions than answers. Meanwhile, the mayor has just issued a statement. In light of the tragedy that befell this city, Bakugan brawls have henceforth been outlawed. Not only here, but in all cities worldwide. And in our city, a special department has been created to track down and put an end to any illegal Bakugan brawls. Bakugan will no longer be able to run rampant. You can count on me, Daddy. Rolling in our city and the entire world is officially over. Hmm. <gasps> it can't be. Just let them try and stop us.